and welcome to Falconwood Court. My name's Nick Wood. I'm a business correspondent and TV presenter, but I also have my own communications company, which I'm pleased to say takes me to every corner of the world, which is why I swap this apartment on occasions. In the next couple of minutes, I'm going to introduce you to the apartment and also talk about the area surrounding Blackheath and how close it is to London itself. Well, let's start off with the living area. As you can see straight away, it's a very light and airy apartment. It has a very nice aspect, a nice view over the top of Blackheath village itself. The living area has a large sofa and although we recommend this for two people, you can have visitors who can sleep on the sofa bed. It does pull out. There are two can sleep there. and We've even had a child sleeping on the chaise long. The living area is complete with widescreen television. More about that in a moment. It does have, of course, fast broadband, fast internet that you can use free of charge whilst you're here. On the other side of the apartment, there's a brand new kitchen. It's fitted with all the gadgets you would expect in a modern kitchen. There's a cooker, there's a microwave, there's a dishwasher, and there's also a washer and dryer for clothes and towels. Now the apartment is fully decked out with guest linen specifically for you and also guest towels. So you don't have to bother about bringing those with you. And this is one of my favorite gadgets in the apartment. If you're watching television at night and you want to watch it in bed, well, you just turn the whole thing round. It's got a very modern bathroom. There's no bath, but a very spacious shower. And here's one of the really clever design aspects of the apartment and why it gets known as a studio apartment. You can either have this area for dining, sit down for a formal meal, or as I do, use it as an office for my computer and edit equipment. Or you can make it into a luxury bedroom. And this is how you do it. When you're ready for bed in the evening, well, just takes a few seconds. There you have it. Lovely, comfy, state-of-the-art designer bed. And of course, when you get up in the morning and you want some more space, you simply lift the bed. And there's your table. I'll send you a guide to the area if you decide to do a swap. But as the guide says, you're just a couple of minutes from the main Blackheath station. Blackheath is on what they call an overland service. The underground doesn't come here, but you can use an Oyster card, very good for tourists, for a weekend pass or a five day pass. And that makes it very convenient just to hop onto the train. Those take you into the very heart of London. You can either go to Charing Cross, which is right next to the West End, Soho, Covent Garden. You can get into Victoria, perfect for St. James's Park, Westminster and Buckingham Palace, of course. Or you can get into Waterloo East, which takes you through Waterloo Station into all the central areas on the underground. Now, it does take between 15 and 20 minutes, depending on how the trains are running. Blackheath Village itself, well, what can you say? It's absolutely packed with beautiful, traditional and rather funky restaurants and bars. It has its own brewery. There's all the modern shops there. And also there's a beautiful butcher. There's a fishmonger and a small supermarket. So everything is catered for. The other advantage of the position of this apartment is the heath. Black Heath is absolutely beautiful. It's a wide open space, but you're very quickly over that on foot or as I do, running in the morning into the Royal Greenwich Park, and that looks down over Greenwich Village itself. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which kind of speaks for itself, but it's a beautiful tourist attraction, and it's right on your doorstep. So finally, come and enjoy Falconwood Court. The sharp-eyed amongst you will have noticed there's a slight Bond theme in the apartment. It's a bit tongue-in-cheek, as we say here in the UK. I am a Bond fan. It doesn't overpower the apartment, but there is a prize for guessing how many Bond films are represented inside it. Well, actually, everybody gets a prize, and that's a drink from the small cocktail cabinet here. Make sure it's a martini shaken, not stirred. Bye for now. <laughs>